Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you could take multiple email accounts and merge them into one inbox in Outlook, or another way to describe it, how to have a unified inbox. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft. All right, well let me show you how to do it. Here I am on my Windows 10 PC desktop and I have Outlook uh, installed here. This is Outlook 365. Uh, this will this should work as well with Outlook 2019, 2016 or older versions as well. Um, this just happens to be the latest version. Um, so here I'm gonna open Outlook. And first off, what do I mean by a unified inbox or merging multiple email accounts? Uh, well, so one of the things you'll see on the left-hand side here within Outlook, I have three different email accounts. So I have my kevin.stratfordatlive.com, kevstrat2, and kevstrat3. So I have three different email accounts. And one of the problems is today, if I wanna view the inbox across all of these accounts, what I have to do is I need to click into the inbox here, then I need to click into the inbox here, and so I need to go from inbox to inbox to inbox to see what needs my attention or to see what new messages have come in. Obviously, that's a little annoying, especially if you have a lot of email accounts. Even if you just have two, it's still kind of a pain. Um, but just imagine you had five or six. Uh, it gets old pretty fast. So uh, today I'm gonna walk through three different ways that you can accomplish this. One of them is using the search folder, one of them is using a macro, and then the third technique is simply using Outlook rules. Any one of these techniques works, uh, and so I'm just gonna show you from top to bottom how these different techniques work. Um, so the first one I wanna show is search folders. So what we're gonna click into one of my inboxes. So I'm just gonna click into kind of my main account here, uh, and then you have this search field. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into that, um, and the way we set this up now is I'm simply gonna type in, we're gonna type in folder, colon, and then inbox. And so what this is saying is it's gonna search across all my inbox folders. And then I also wanna find, let's say I just wanna look at emails from this past week. So I could click on this and I could say from this week, I could say from this month, so I could define what the time period is. But I'm gonna go ahead and say this week. And what I can also do is let's just say I wanna see you know, unread or read emails. What I could do is I could click on more. I could go to the read status and I could say, hey, just show me read. Um, I could say, show me messages that have been read, no. Um, or show me only messages that have been read, yeah. So I could set that too. Um, so why don't I just say, uh, we'll say unread messages only. And then you have this little drop down here that says the current inbox. Um, I said I'm gonna show you how to view your inboxes across all your accounts, so we don't wanna just look at the current uh, mailbox. Instead, what we wanna do is we wanna look across all uh, mailboxes. So I'm gonna go and click on that. And what you'll see happens now is so I have this search query set up. Um, so here I see email from my kevin.stratford at live account. I also see email from my kevstrat3 at outlook.com account. So this is an inbox view that pulls in all my accounts. Now, one of the things that you know might seem kind of annoying is, well, you don't wanna have to search every single time you wanna see a combined view of all your inboxes. Um, so how can we make this easier? Well, one of the things that you could do is, so I typed in this query here, and you'll see here under the recent searches, if I now click on this, what that'll do is that'll simply run this search that I just uh, queried for. So what I could do is I could right click on this and I could add to quick access toolbar. So I'm gonna add that on there. And let's say that I just launch Outlook and I just come in here and I haven't typed in the query and you know it's kind of a pain to have to type in that query every time. What I can do now is I just simply go up to my recent searches up here and then I could type in folder, in, so I'll just click on that. And so what this will do is it simply runs the query uh, that I had because it's a, a recent query. And so here I'll see uh, my list um, of my inbox across all my accounts. So this is one technique of how to get kind of a merged or unified inbox view. One of the problems though is like as, you know, let's say you search for other things, it might drop off this list and then that query no longer shows up. This is where macros come in where you could just add a dedicated button that'll always give you this view. So how do we do that? Um, this one involves a few more steps, so kind of bear with me as we run through this. What we're gonna do is the first thing you're gonna do is click on the file menu, then we're gonna go down to options. So I'm gonna click on options. Within options, we wanna scroll all the way down. I know this options view, it always gives me a headache when I see it because there are so many boxes and so many controls. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the trust center. Um, and I'm gonna click on trust center and then there's uh, something within that that says trust center settings. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And within this now, um, we end up in another view with kind of another bunch of things under trust center and then we're gonna click on macro settings. And within macro settings, the default will just be notifications for digitally signed macros. We wanna just change it to notification for all macros because we wanna create our own. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and check that and then we're gonna click okay. 
And now I'm gonna click OK again, and now I'm just back in my inbox view. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press, uh, let's, let's press Alt 11 on the keyboard, and this is gonna open up the Visual Basic Editor. So Alt F11, it's the Alt key, F11. I'm gonna click on that. That opens up a Visual Basic Editor, and I have uh, two different pieces of code that we're gonna put in. One of them shows you a unified view of your inbox. The other one shows you a unified view of your sent mail uh, folders. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code here. Um, and keep in mind, if you look in the description, I also have this code in here if you wanna set something up like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste both of these in. All I do is I paste them in this view, and then once I'm done with that, I'm simply gonna close out of this, okay? So I'm just gonna hit the save icon, uh, and then we're gonna close. So now what I could do is I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna type in macros uh, in this uh, search box, so within Outlook, and there's an option that says run macros, and then I see my two macros up here. So what I wanna do is I wanna um, add this to my quick access toolbar, and I'm gonna, what I could do now is if I click on the macro view, what this has done is it now allows me to run either one of these macros. So I'm gonna click on this unified inbox. Let's run that, and so now it's gonna run that query, and it, it pulls up my inbox. Um, so uh, that's pretty simple how to do it. And once again, if I just wanna do, um, let's say unread messages, let me go back into the macro. So there's this part of the query that says it is read colon no. And so if I wanna go back and modify the query, so I pressed Alt F11 again. Um, so here you could actually see the text search that it runs. So you could see what the query is running. I could go ahead and paste that in here and say is read and then colon no. And when I click on this button then, it'll run this macro um, and it'll only show me unread messages across all my inboxes. Um, so I could either keep that in or I don't need to. I'm just gonna delete it for now um, so I don't have that view. Um, and the thing about adding it to this uh, quick access gallery is it's just within a click from when you start Outlook. So here if I land in Outlook and you know here I am in just one of my inboxes and I wanna quickly see, well, what's happening across all my inboxes, I simply go up to the quick access gallery, uh, click on the first item, and now this shows me my unified inbox. Um, so kind of a very easy way uh, to get that uh, combined view. Now I wanna show you one other technique. This is the third technique that I mentioned, and this is using Outlook rules. Um, so I'm gonna go into my uh, KevStrat3 inbox, and what I'm gonna do now is I receive this email, so I'm gonna right click on it, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down to rules. And I could, I could, there's one kind of default option under rules that says always move messages to uh, KevStrat3 uh, at outlook.com. So I'm gonna click on that, because any message that's sent to KevStrat3, um, I wanna do something with it. So. I'm gonna go here and now I could choose a folder where I put it. And so, you know, maybe I want the kevin.stratford at live.com to be my main inbox. Um, so I could say any message that comes in from kevstrat3, well, let's move that to kevin.stratford at live.com. So I'll just click on OK. And that created the rule. So now anytime I get an email in kevstrat3, it'll simply place it in this other email account. So here you'll see the email is in my kevin.stratford at live.com. Uh, inbox. And so that's one way where, let's say you have five or six email accounts, you could simply set up a rule that then transfers that email to whatever your main account is. The downside that technique is you're actually physically moving the message to a different folder. And so let's say you actually just want to see, well, what just came to KevStrat3, if I go to that inbox now, I won't see anything in there. And so that's the thing I like about the search technique, because it doesn't actually affect any of your individual email accounts. And the nice thing too is as you read uh, messages in those different, uh, within the search view, it'll go back and update the read, unread status in the originating uh, mailbox. Um, so these are uh, three different ways to uh, basically uh, to set up a unified inbox. Um, unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't just have a quick button where, that you could just click on that says, hey, view all these as one merged view. However, Outlook is very customizable and it is quite easy uh, to be able to just come together, basically put in a view uh, of all your inboxes just as kind of one view or one inbox. Um, so it's pretty easy to do. And that's all I had for you today. So hopefully if uh, this helped you uh, come basically pull together a unified inbox. Uh, please give this video a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, uh, please hit that subscribe button. That way you get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And if there's anything else that you're trying to learn, anything else you're trying to do, leave a comment down below. I read all the comments that come in. Uh, and if you have any idea of a video that I should create, I'll add it to my list of uh, videos to create in the future. And hey, that's all I had for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.